right, we're back trying to get all the knowledge we can out of Robbie Pruitt with Antler King. So Robbie, I got a good one this week. Um, are all minerals created equal? Because it seems like there's premium mineral, there's guys making it out of their garage. You know, I go down to the co-op and all of a sudden they've got this white bag of mineral. How does the customer like me, how do you figure out what a good mineral is? Well, there's a few, there's a few easy ways to figure it out and other ways to call somebody like me and ask. Okay. Um, the easy way that you can look at for is when you're at a store or you're online, you can, you know, you look at, see what's in that bag. You want to look at the ingredients. If you see the salt content higher than 27%, you're more buying an attractant mineral than you are a good mineral for the healthiness of the beer. Okay. Okay. Uh, now you get more into that 80, 90% salt. You're looking more of this a 100% attractant. I call them camera magnets is what I call them. You pour that out on the ground. That salt is like candy to us. And, and they will, them deer will just hammer. Where if you take a good mineral, let's just say our trophy deer mineral. You know, you take it and if you pour it out in a pile here and you pour our lick magic out here. Okay, our lick magic is higher in salt. It's more of an attractant mineral. Or the trophy deer mineral is a premium mineral. The deer will walk right to that first because it's sweeter. It's like you and I taking medicine. It's good for us, but we don't like the taste of it at first. As soon as we start taking it, we know it's helping us. We keep coming back for it. So you will see, like on that Lake Magic, they're going to hit it harder. The trophy clover, as soon as they get in it, I mean the trophy deer mineral, I'm sorry, they get in it, they're going to destroy it. But the thing it is, a lot of people look at the phosphorus, the calcium, and all that in there, and they see them listed and they're like, the perfect mineral, that's all we need. But when it comes to building the perfect mineral, you have to have the percentages of each one of them, actually four of them, got to be where they can work together. If they don't work together, just like planting a food plot with too much seed, they're going to compete with each other and they will not give the deer what they need for the healthier uh, bone structure, stuff like that. So really, it is kind of secretive. We don't want everybody knowing, but you know, as you know, we started this company 36 years ago with Trophy Deer Mineral. Yep. We're the very first deer mineral out there and that is still our number one selling mineral and the best mineral we got. It's not bad to have a little candy once in a while, but no. you still need to have your baked potato, your steak, and your green beans. Right. Yep. And people and people ask me all the time, well, that 20 pound bag of trophy deer mineral, if if it's only 27% salt, why don't you add more salt to it to make it sweeter? I say, because we have to make it an 80 pound bag, a 90 pound bag, because if we can't, to add more, we'd have to take away the good stuff in that 20 pound bag. Yep. So you do not want to take away the good stuff right. to, add the, to add the candy. Right. And you're just back to being another attractant. Exactly right. Yep. So. Yep. Guys, this is awesome. Um, keep joining in every week. Um, we're going to try, try to uh, ask Robbie all the hard questions that we all want to know.